hello welcome and welcome back um and in today's video i am going to show you how to make a shorts pattern you can use this pattern to make biker shorts denim shorts sweat shorts any kind of shorts really that you would want to so if you would like to see how i made this short pattern keep on watching getting started these are the supplies you will need you will need a french curve ruler paper yardstick ace ruler marker and a pencil This is the measurements you will need. You will need your waist, waist divided by two, waist to knee or waist to length, knee to thigh, thigh circumference minus one half inch, knee circumference minus one half inch, front rise, back rise, front rise depth, back rise depth. To start making our pattern, we will start with folding our paper in half. Directly on the center fold, we are going to mark out our waist to knee measurement or length in your case. This will also be our center seam since these shorts do not have side seams. So we will be working on both the front and the back of the pattern at the same time. Next, we will mark down our knee or length circumference on each side. So if your circumference is 16 inches, you will mark 8 inches on each side of the center fold. Measuring up from our length or your knee, whichever one you decided to do, you will Mark the spot using your knee to thigh measurement where your thigh will be and then do the circumference the same way that we did the knee circumference. Find your circumference, divide it in half and mark on each side of the line your circumference. After finding your circumference, your thigh circumference and marking it on a paper, we are going to connect the lines we just drew. Next, we are going to put in our front rise and front rise depth. In order to find my front rise, I used a pair of jeans that fit really well in the crotch area and then just measured from the seam of the crotch up to the top and then flipped it over on the back and did the exact same thing. Use this formula for the depths. To track half your waist measurement from your thigh circumference, multiply the front by 0.33, the back by 0.66. Using the side closest to you, we are going to mark our front rise depth by measuring from the corner inward. And then we'll do the same on the other side for the back. After doing that, we will measure, we will mark the front rise measurement on the front side and then the back rise measurement on the back side. Next, you'll want to connect the three lines we just made at the top of our pattern, forming our waistband. And say hello to Kobe, because every time I am busy, here he comes. I don't know if he thinks he knows how to make patterns or if he is trying to learn how to sew too, but he is in my way like always. And this is what your pattern should be looking like at this point. Starting once again at the corner of your, your thigh line, you want to measure one inch in and one inch up in order to complete your pattern. Using a pencil, you want to connect that second dot to your waistband. And then use the French curve ruler to connect the dot to your thigh line. You'll see a better view of it when I do the other side.
Now I am just adding in my hem allowance to my short leg. I am using 5 8 of an inch. You can use as much or as little of a hem allowance as you want. Just keep in mind that your hem allowance does affect the length of your shorts. Other than that, your pattern is pretty much done. I am just now writing little notes all over my pattern so that way when I go to use my pattern at a later date, things that I know I won't remember will be right there on the pattern for reference. I am also just rounding out any sharp edges with my French curve. And we are absolutely finished with our pattern. This is what it should look like after you are done. I hope that it was helpful and that you use it to make your own pair of shorts. Thanks for watching.